I'm excited for. It is a collaboration with my friend Kelly on YouTube. Her channel name is Kay Bella Beauty and I will link it down below. She is another makeup loving mom just like myself. She does lots of beauty reviews, she does tag videos, collection videos, a little bit of everything in the beauty space. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, please check out her channel down below and let her know that I told you I said, hey girl even though I think in the sports world, we're quite rivals, I'm pretty sure. But I'll let it, I'll let it slide for now. And if you are coming from Kelly's channel, hi, my name is Rachel. I am a mom of a nearly two year old girl and sometimes I'm posting a lot of mom content, sometimes I'm posting a lot of beauty content. It's just whatever is going on in my life, that's kind of what I post on this channel. It's a little bit of everything. So if you guys are all wondering what could I possibly have on my wish list for the holidays and I think if I don't get any of this, which I probably won't, <laughs> I'll probably pick some of it up for my birthday. I usually place at least one Sephora order in the month of February so that I can get my birthday gift that year. And I decided to choose 10 items. Like I decided I needed to make a list of the top 10 items on my wish list this year. So starting with number one, I have a palette from Aether Beauty and it is their Sunset Palette. I do feel like this came out at the beginning of 2022. Am I correct? It's one of their larger palettes and it just looks so beautiful. And I did buy their Citrine palette earlier this year and it's one of my most worn palettes this year and I just love the quality, especially the shimmers. The matte is just so easy to blend out. Now this palette's a little bigger and I typically don't like bigger palettes, but I just enjoyed that formula so much. I enjoy a lot of what Aether Beauty stands behind with their packaging, with their mission, with the way they ethically source their materials. It's a palette that even though I feel like it's a little bit bigger than I typically like. It still has been on my mind all these months later. It's something I'd really like to try out. The next is from Lawless. And I, I spoke about Lawless in my 2019 favorites video. And I said, I haven't ever tried anything else from them, but their, what is it called? What is it called? Forget the filler gloss. I feel like has been highly talked about this year, especially this like very pink shade that Taylor Wynn's been hyping up. I don't know. I feel like every time I see someone try it on, I definitely have seen Jessica Braun using it. Like I just, it looks so beautiful on people and it's it's always kind of in the back of my mind that I really want to try that one out. So that is also on my wish list. Next, I have a trio from Kaja Beauty. I do have their Chocolate Dahlia stack here and it was again, one of my most worn, oh my gosh, where's the shimmer? There it is. It was one of my most worn palettes of this year and their Peach Madeline. I watched Khaki from Khaki Reviews Beauty use it once and it just looked so beautiful and I swear, Anytime I look on Sephora, that specific trio is sold out and I'm like, why? Tell me why. Is it because it's so hyped up or are you getting rid of it? Because I really hope it's not the second because I really want it. Okay, next is a hair product and it is from Amika and it is their Perk Up Plus Dry Shampoo. I really like the Amika Dry Shampoo. I just recently used one up. I'm pretty sure it was in my November MDs, but they have a Perk Up Plus and I'm intrigued. Now, I got the Living Proof one. Like, I really liked the original Living Proof dry shampoo and I got their like more amped up version and I just finished it up and I don't get the hype. I like the original better. So I'm wondering what's the, what is up with this new one from Amika? Because I really like the original. Is the new one even better? I'm very intrigued. I'm very interested in finding out the dealio on the new Amika dry shampoo. Okay, the next is like a little gift set. I'm assuming it's a holiday gift set. It's from Rare Beauty. I actually haven't tried anything from Rare Beauty, but this is their Eye Essentials Duo gift pack. Gift set, gift set, why did I say gift pack? Okay. And it comes with their liquid liner and their mascara. And I feel like I've heard really great things about both those products. And you know, liquid liners and mascaras are both products that I like am able to actively use up and go through. So I feel like getting them in some sort of a set on a deal and they're both full size. I'm fairly certain this is a full size set would be really cool to try out. Next is from Charlotte Tilbury and I mean, obviously there's a lot I would love from Charlotte Tilbury, but I would really like one of their highlighting wands. I think like the, the pink chasm is the shade. I fully used up the contour wand this past year. And I even said when I like was talking about it in my empties video, like I really like this product and I think it's so good. But if I'm going to get another wand from Charlotte Tilbury, I want it to be a different product. I want to try something different. And I really want to try one of the blushes. I think I would really like the blushes <laughs> and they're so expensive but I really wanna try one out. Speaking of liquid bronzers, the thing that I feel like I would want to replace the Charlotte Tilbury with is the new Milk Bionic Bronzer because it seems like it's that same sort of really lightweight 
not like creamy bronzer, but it's more like a, I don't think water is the word I'm looking for, like liquid. There we go, liquid bronzer. I just, I really like the way a liquid bronzer blends out and the, the ability I have to work with a product like that. That's why I really liked the Charlotte Tilbury. I have fully used up the Milk Makeup Stick Bronzer and I really did like that. So I have a lot of faith in them working with a liquid bronzer. So the packaging isn't my favorite. It's just like a little squeezy tube, but I feel like I can get over that if the product is good. Next is the thing that I feel like everyone, anytime I say this is on my wish list, people are like, you need to get it. It's the Bare Minerals Bronzer. And I swear, I just want it to go on sale and I feel like I never see it on sale. And it's, I feel like it's what, $25 for the blush bronzer, which isn't the worst price, but I feel like I just have a thing where I don't want to pay full price and I want to get it and I will get it someday. I just don't know when and I know everyone is going to tell me get it because everyone always tells me to get it and I get it. I will get it sometime. Okay, next is a setting powder. Setting powder is like my kryptonite. Every time I find one that I like, I like or like even like a finishing powder. I guess more of a finishing powder is what I'm talking about. It gets discontinued. So right now it's the Becca one that I'm working through, but the Kosas Cloud Set Powder. I feel like I've heard enough people rave about it. It's baked. I don't feel like I've had a baked finishing powder before, which seems like it would be really nice and lightweight. But like, I don't know if you guys can tell, but like the Becca I used on my face today and like, I don't look powdery. That's what I want. I want something that's gonna make my makeup set to like when I go like this. Like it's not coming off of my hands, but it's not like matte and crusty, especially right now in our winter time. I do not want to be crusty. Okay, the number 10 product is not an actual makeup product, but it's a makeup tool. And it is a bunch of the new BK Beauty brushes. Oh my goodness. So many new ones have come out this year and they all look so nice. The Angie Hot and Flashy set looks fantastic. Love all the reviews I've seen on it. Not only that, They've come out with smaller versions of like their bigger brushes. Like the 101 is one of my most used brushes and they came out with like a smaller version of it. Girl. Yeah, I want them. They are on my list too. Of course, like something like that would not be a Sephora purchase. But yeah, those new BK Beauty brushes have my name written all over them. So those were my 10 wishlist items for this holiday season. Let me know what beauty products are on your wish list this season. And don't forget, if you aren't subscribed to Kelly's channel yet, make sure to check it out down below. And yeah, that is it for this video. As usual, thanks for stopping by my channel. If you're new here, click the subscribe button and ring that bell for notifications. I have my Instagram down below, give it a follow, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.